Here we have a power supply board which came in for shorted output and customer told uh, there is a sh uh, short input so we have to find it out and which component is faulty. So uh, and I already checked this primary side and every components are okay and when I check the uh, check this SMT here these sides I got shot let's see under microscope and see what is happening and uh, if it's any any burn components or blown components missing components or something then if it is not then uh, we will inject the voltage and and finding the heating spot and uh, we'll see which which component makes that issue so let's find out under the microscope Alright, this is a board and this is a secondary side. What I'm going to do is first we should check with the visually and wait a minute. This is fine, just a corrosion. And this seems to be burned, but let's see under uh, another multimeter after after checking usually so these capacitors are looking good looking good looking good this IC is looking good inductor coil looking good and everything is looking good and this capacitor also looking good resistor and this IC is looking good so there is no burn marks um, and the blown components and missing components so these are not a missing missing components this is a pads so what we should do is just put the multimeter into the continuity mode and see if the board gets shorted to the ground first put the Multimeter into continuity mode. And let's check with this diode. No shot. And this uh, resistor. And yes, we do. We do have a shot. We do have a multiple shots. So as I already told you earlier, uh, if one particular spot having a shot, it will be interlinked with another components in SMD, all SMDs. So we we don't you know we don't assume that if if we are getting uh, the shot here we don't assume that this component is um, uh, uh, this component is faulty but rather than we should do is we should inject the voltage and find in the heating spot and uh, which which component is heated uh, that then we can assume that that uh, that particular component is faulty so we have a reference voltage here 5 volt 12 volt and 9 volt so what i am going to do is check the output I mean, uh, not DC output. Just, just simply uh, seeing the outputs uh, to see whether the the output is shorted or not. So I'm going to check the 5 volt. 5 volt is fine. There is no short. And 9 volt, 9 volt is is not at all short, and it is good. And 12 volt. 12 volt, as you can see, there's a short in 12 volt. So, whichever component shorted um, uh, going to the 12 volt, there might be a chances of one component is shorted to the ground. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is just apply uh, inject inject the voltage here and see which component gets shorted. So, I'm going to 
switch on my DC supply and connect the negative lead into the ground and put the positive I have a thermal cam with me I am injecting 1 volt 1 volt 1 ampere which is which is good to see yes we have shy we have a heating spot right We have, we have a hot spot in here. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, let me let me explain. And I'm putting some of the alcohol here. Just a little bit of alcohol. Do not touch the pads, do not touch the pins, just chop a little bit. You can see, see, if I am injecting the voltage here, I am injecting the voltage in this side here. See, see, so. Just remove this IC and see if the shot is uh, remaining same or gone. So what I am going to do is just switch on my hotter station and remove this IC. Before that I need to switch off my DC supply. And switch on my hotter station. And I, I always prefer 450 degree for desoldering SMD components, SMD IC. Good tools make you confident do, to do anything. So initially I was struggled uh, when I learned this type of uh, uh, repairs. Then once I once I confident in it, and I invested more, and invested some something to get uh, get the get the exact things. What are the what are the things which is uh, needed to the SMD components and you know for repairs. So. If you are interested in learning, you should do uh, you should do the same. So then only you can learn something, and you no, know, it will uh, make you benefit and your employer. And if you are doing a business, it will help you too. So hotter is is ready now. Always choose a better tweezer, and tweezers also can make you can make the difference I'm simply applying the heat here and yes gone that's it which I'm supply And we remove the IC. Now just clean it up. The alcohol.
good to go so let's check with uh, multimeter again and see if the shot is gone or not put the, put the continuity mode and let's check it's at 12 volt see shot is gone shot is gone absolutely no shot this is the ground and this is ground and no shot and 12 volt is fine so we should replace this IC but customer told me that just find out the complaint we will see everything we will see we will buy that IC and uh, we, will, we will replace that IC so what I am going to do is just send the board to him and uh, just send the number to him that IC number and uh, and he said he will do everything I don't know whether he is having microscope or not because these are the tiniest thing uh, this IC is very tiny it is not uh, uh, like what you what you seeing like what you see like see this is a air but I have and see the difference this is a tiny IC I don't know how he can replace this IC but that doesn't care we don't care about it and we will just just uh, uh, send back to the uh, boat to him and he will do everything and i'm going to end the video right here if you have any question comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon with another video bye bye